Okay, so off the bat, what I'm getting is... So two different things popped out at two different times. I'm getting with work... With work, you're going to have to give and give and like put in more. Like you might have to spend money to make money in whatever you're doing right now. Or you might have to give more and get a little right now, but in the end, the outcome will be big. Like right now, you might not be seeing too much gain, and it might be a huge commitment what you're doing financially, time-wise, um, as far as your energy goes, but you're going to have to give, give, give right now. But giving is what's going to eventually bring you back the karma of receiving. So right now you're in the giving stages of your career. And you have to give in order to progress. And that might make you feel, whoa, that might make you feel a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it is justice. It is justice for you to have to give, literally, the Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. It is justice for you to have to give for you to receive the King and Queen of Pentacles. So for you to have that solid, stable commitment and career and in, or in whatever, because this is a couple. So in order for you to, you have to make the effort. You have to make the effort in order for you to get, to get what you strive for. You might have been stagnant for a while. Okay, and then over here, we've got the lovers, nine of pentacles, and judgment. So I feel like what whatever's going on in your life in love, you're making a judgment about that in your mind. Or maybe something's not going quite as planned, or plans are changing. And now you're making a judgment and you're dipping. You're out. Because the universe is literally flipping things around, changing things up. Things were stagnant for too long. You weren't doing the right thing. You weren't focusing on the right thing. Now you're out. While the other person is looking, is looking the other way. Like you're out. You're on your way out while their pants are down. Damn. And while their angels are looking the other way. They're a- Holy crap. Like you- Wow, I feel this in my solar plexus. You are dipping. Like you are cutting off a soul connection. So the universe just came in here and shook some shit up between you and maybe your twin flame or like your other half or like like as above so below check that like look at that that white and black that burning bush damn and look at that head cat looking down on those two like that duality of the light and dark wow god or source looks down on those two and he, the universe came in and shook up your world with your lover. Shook that shit up. And then, literally, while your lover was... It was like this, so they were looking the other way. While your lover was looking the other way, and while they're, like, your... Or your soulmate, or whoever this pertains to, while somebody you were bound to someone you were energetically and karmically bound to was looking the other way and they're familiar they're angels their guides their demons whatever was looking the other way you you left look at you running <sighs> making a beeline down the stairs you're you're out and look who's looking down on you 
your angels are saying, hell yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. We're getting the hell out of there. Well, they, well they're not even noticing. Holy crap. That's amazing. And that was all divinely orchestrated because it's all balance. You lost your balance. <laughs> you lost your way. Wow. Holy crap. Whew. Wow. And look at, I don't know, I'm just like noticing like the light and the dark in my hair. That's weird. Okay. Like how, look, I've never noticed it before. <laughs> what? All right. Moving on. <laughs> that was just really deep. Uh, hmm. Maybe you were waiting for something that was never going to happen. Or maybe something you were making no progress. Maybe love and career are connected. And there was going to be no fruitful outcome from this situation. It's time to go within. This is a hermit situation. I mean, coming out of it, it's best to go hermit. Go hermit, just chill. Should take my own advice. Holy shit. Yeah. Y'all were bound. The devil, demon. This was a karmic relationship. And you fucking bolted while the other person wasn't looking. You were out. And you and your like you and your angels pieced while their angel their while their demon was distracted. Like it might have been really hard for you to walk away. Like look at that. That's some shit. They might be an earth sign. They might have earth in their chart. Their Venus might be in Earth. <sighs> Capricorn, um, oh, this is hurting my neck, uh, yeah, that's like, I'm just gonna put that, like, over there, I feel like you had to seriously unbind yourself from this person, and it hurt, and it was painful, and you probably cried, and this is, pro this is probably a soulmate, this is probably, Someone who you've known in many lives. Like, whether or not you believe in reincarnation. Like, you probably... Your souls are probably attached in some way. Like, you're bound. And good for you. Like, good for you. And consider... I am feeling this. Con like, wow, I'm really feeling this in my gut. Like, right in my center. Like, that cat running away with the divine guidance. Oh my god. Five of Swords angel like your angel got you out of there say thank you for not say thank you for getting out when you did say thank you mm. thank you this that's an angel looking down on you because there was some shady shit going on that would have just hurt you in the end that would have hurt you in every way there's no fruitful outcome from this that is your angel say thank you. Damn. Mm. You've chosen a direction. Like you've got your arrow pointed in a direction and you know where you're going. Like you still look back sometimes and you feel sad and you still have that pain because it was so karmically bound and so emotional and so freaking sad and painful and tearing and like it was like physically painful as well as emotionally painful and like like we're dealing with freaking demons here and like binding and cords and like hooks and getting all of that out so you look back but one of my favorite readers was just talking about this what happened to the woman this is a running theme guys Whew. what happened to the woman in the bible who looked back i forgot her name but she turned to a fucking pillar of salt don't look back it only like no good can come from looking back there's so much energy right now so hot 
I think one more card for Mystic. Somebody was out for just themselves. Seven of Swords, the cannibal. This person would have chewed you up and spit you out. Count your blessings, say thank you, and be done with that fool. Shady shit going on behind the scenes. Shady shit going on behind the scenes. Shady shit. Count your blessings and run the fuck out there. Run away, run down the stairs, follow your angels, get the hell out of there, and flourish and bloom and find your king of pentacles. Or if it's the other way around, flourish and bloom and find your queen of pentacles. Because that's justice. Not justice the way you were being treated. Okay, <laughs> so, sorry, I just got a little distracted there. Um, so, this situation is calling for you to trust, like, your angels are calling for you to trust your guides, you, the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels are calling for you to trust right now that this was not a situation of love. This person, this person didn't didn't have love for you, they had love for themselves. And probably the other people they were fucking around with. It says the situation is calling for you to have faith. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel like that's saying keep the faith in yourself and in your choice to walk away and to do right by your si yourself because if you had chosen to stay, this person would have betrayed you anyway, or things wouldn't have worked out because you would have realized that this person wasn't good for you, or things would have ended catastrophically, so just count your blessings, you know, count your blessings, that's what I just feel like they keep saying, you dig, count your blessings, whoo, Damn. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So let me like m meditate on this for a second. Mm. I think this, this kind of person like treating you bad or like not giving you what you need like you've met the romantic partner you seek like that so that feeds something in you that feeds a pain that also feels good 
in some way that feeds a darkness. It feeds... Hmm. So, this, uh... If you keep, you feed this relationship, you feed the demon. It's not good. We need another direction. Cards. Uh, oh. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, all right, I know what it's saying. <laughs> Sorry, that one took a minute. All right, because it just like went a little off track, like it was going in one way. Sorry, that just got really loud. Okay, it was going in one direction and then the direction just like completely changed. But I said, cards, what do we do? And then it told me this is what we do. So in order to um, amend this situation and for things to get better, what you're going to do is you need to, it says, honestly discuss your feelings. So you need to just speak your truth. That was like the fire signs. Like they needed to speak their truth too. So it was just like be honest with yourself. Be honest with those around you. Be honest with your loved ones. Be honest with your coworkers and your bosses. And like just be honest and speak and like share your voice because it matters fucking matters. It really does. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you need to do things that fill your well, that fill you up inside. Because I feel like you're very drained from this. And um, you need to do things like craft or um, play with animals or spend time with friends and family and I don't know, be creative, or even spend time in the water if you can, like if where it is, you're, you're warm, or where, where you are, it's warm, or like, if you can, like, go inside and swim or something, I don't know, anything that make, that fills you, because you attract romantic love, by enjoying this moment fully. But I think that means like you, I'm also looking at it as like you attract all kinds of love and like you just attract, like with career as well, like you are going to attract that gratitude um, or you're going to attract abundance through your gratitude. You are what you attract. That's what I'm getting right now. Huh. Interesting. So let go of that crap from before. You attracted it for a reason, but now it's time to let go. So that your love life can ascend to a higher level. And just your life in general, your regular life, can just like ascend. And you can evolve and become a better person. Water signs. What are you talking about? Abundance. Plenty. Yeah. Let go. Let go while still functioning. Don't stop doing things like, I feel like you might have like taken a break to be distracted by some... Yeah, you might have taken a break to be distracted by this shitty situation. So, like, get back on your game so that you can have abundance 
but let go of your control issues because your control issues caused you to focus too obsessively on this other thing that wasn't good for you. Like, you have to listen more to your internal voice that's telling you what direction to go in because that is what will bring you justice and that is what will open the doors for you. That is what's going to bring you the life you're supposed to live and take you down the path you're supposed to be down. Gateways and justice. Uh-oh. My cat's leaning down over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cornica. Oh no. <laughs> Corn. I mean, you can't see, but she's literally got her paw right in front. Uh-oh. Cornica. Cornica. Come on down. Corn. We are just taking a quick moment. Can you still see me? You can. She's not even in the way. She's like right in front of the... I guess she's not right in front of the camera. Alright. Alright, let's close this out. Alright, two more cards. Perfect. Yeah. Well, what they want you to know is that this karmic relationship and this karmic binding... Oh, there she goes. It had a purpose. Just like Cornica coming down, like this video needed to end, probably. Um, this all had a purpose. And maybe it's a fire sign that you're bound to. Maybe, ugh, I don't know. Um, but you're going to find strength from this. You're going to grow from this. It all, everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose and a plan. And, um, once you get out of that binding, you're going to, like, your beauty is going to shine so brightly that nothing can hold you back. All the, all the pavements, all the bricks and pavements of, of the foundation of the rest of your life is being laid out in front of you. And I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but I do. So take it to heart. Alright, thank you so much for watching this all the way through, if you did, after all the weird little interruptions. Um, my water signs, I appreciate you, and I don't know, I guess I'll see you next time if you liked it. I hope it resonated. Thanks. Bye.